hello to all my Latin uh, friends. I'm from Chile myself, and today we are in Palm Beach, though, in Florida, and we are at the Wally Finley Gallery that has been my gallery for 45 years here in Palm Beach and in New York. Uh, I am doing a book signing for my new children's book, which is really children of all ages, uh, and it's called Seven Arrows. And it's a fun story that happens in New York. It starts in New York, it ends up in New York, but it goes all over the cosmos in between. So, I'll browse you through the book. Um, it starts in Staten Island. The kid has an American Indian grandfather, and uh, from his grandfather, he's been hearing about animal spirits, and Indian superstitions and mythology. That's his grandfather's room, which you can see is full of shields and arrows and etc. Uh, through television, he finds out how in danger the uh, animal kingdom is because of how civilized we have become or uncivilized. And uh, uh, in his trip to Staten Island, from Staten Island, always get to see the Statue of Liberty that he's very curious about. And that day he falls asleep in Central Park uh, in front of a panther's cage. There, he, um, in his dream, he frees the animals from their cages through an eagle feather that is given to him, a little bit like a magic wand for a Harry Potter story. And uh, he's told that he has to go, this is told to him by a unicorn, it's told that uh, he has to go through the rainbow, and eventually the rainbow appears to him in the form of seven arrows of seven different colors. So that's what he's, um, he's uh, uh, that's why the title of the book, Seven Arrows. Then we go through each chapter that is one color of the rainbow and the different emotions that each color elicits in the viewer. So we go through yellow and we go through green blue and each time it gets more soothing until we get to violet which is the last of the colors in the rainbow and also it corresponds with Jupiter and his asteroid belt which they have to cross and that's quite a challenge when they cross the asteroid belt they get to the other side and they finally go to their promised land. However, when they arrive to their promised land, it turns out that it's very much like our planet Earth, that they had just left, but with no humans. Um, so they are very happy for quite a while, until, strangely enough, they start missing humans. First, the domesticated animals start missing their masters, and eventually all other animals kind of be humans. They cannot bring them back, so the most they can do is some form of Statue of Liberty done in a very primitive way. And meanwhile, Ricky, that has become a little black cub, um, misses his family very much, and all he does now is he wants to go back to his grandfather and his mother. However, that's impossible and he's really missing home when, thank God, he eventually wakens up back in Central Park and his mother and the kids have found him and there is the Black Panther looking from behind the glass. And that's not quite the end of the story, which I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> so you buy the book. So thank you very much. Okay, Gustavo, thank you very much and good luck with your book. Thank you.